Hello folks. Well, these things have always bothered me as being in the Marine Corps for 33 years, I was trained to believe in clean and shiny. So I'm simply going to show you how I cleaned my dingy boat upholstery, removed water spots from the glass, removed all swirl marks in the paint on my tractor, and how to get rid and keep it gone longer that ugly toilet bowl ring. Here we go. Well, there are many ways to cut a pizza, and I'm just simply showing you my way and especially introducing many of you to ceramic coatings. They're pretty amazing and unless you still watch black and white TVs and use a wind-up phone, you should take a look at the newer stuff. <laughs> they make color TVs now and even smartphones. So again, I'm not suggesting you buy any of the products that I mentioned in this demonstration as there are many manufacturers. I'm just showing what worked well for me. You're on your own. Well first, I'm going to start with my Sea Ray boat. This was given to me for which I am grateful but I knew it had to have quite intensive work done on it. When the engine overheated on its first run out on the lake that I had to row back with my wife for an hour and a half, I removed and replaced the pump in the sea leg. Well that was quite a job but I got it done. When it still didn't run right, I had to tear the top end apart and found a blowed head gasket. Well this was good that it blew in the center as it kept the water out of the oil. I did go ahead and change the oil anyway, but in this boat it took over three hours because there's no drain plug and it's got to be pumped out through the dipstick hole. I also rebuilt the carburetor, put in a new coil, plugs, plug wires, gas gauge, temperature gauge, and buffed out the paint with Adams polishes followed with Adams ceramic coating. The coatings really worked on my RC model boat as you saw and although it repels water like crazy, it makes the surface hard and very scratch resistant, something I failed to mention in my last video. Anyway more on that later when I do my black tractor. First let's get rid of the water spots on the glass. You know, if you're like me and uh, most boat owners, or if you've got water spots that you just cannot get off your glass. I have the perfect solution here that I have discovered. What I'm using is Adam's Heavy Correcting Compound and one of his Swirl Killer Minis with the white finishing pad on it. And I'm not kidding you, this instantly removes those water spots you can't get off. I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, you want to just put a few drops on here, just like that. And you take the glass, start like this, run it at about number five on the setting there. This is not abrasive and it will not scratch the glass. And actually this stuff really will make headlights look like new. soft towel which is a microfiber towel and instantly this is perfectly clean I mean not a single water spot on there this will work on everything again that's the Adams heavy correcting compound that's the blue stuff and uh, you can check his website find out about that then to keep it beating like crazy I'm using the ceramic spray coating. Do is get one of the microfiber sponges and just spray this on. And you want to let that dry for two minutes to set up. Just two minutes. And once that has turned a little bit hazy like that, you just simply buff this. Look at that, beautiful. Do this on anything to get water spots off. This is the heavy correcting compound. You know, I've tried every kind of upholstery cleaner, including the bleach stuff with no avail. Nothing would clean this up, but look at what this did. 
Look at that. Look at the difference. Did you see that? Wow. I'm gonna get this. I've tried a lot of different things to get this thing cleaned up. Now I'm gonna coat it with the ceramic spray coating and this is what it looked like afterwards. You see it's a long lasting hard ceramic coating that also beads water like crazy. It's not a temporary wax. So it's best to remove the swirl marks before applying the Atom ceramic coatings which is the hardest of all and H9 rated. So again I'm using the non-abrasive blue heavy correction cream to do that along with the mini swirl killer random water bottle polisher. Perfect, so now let's put on Adam's ceramic spray coating. So this is the Adam's spray coating. This is ceramic coating. This is real easy. Open up this little lever and we just spray. Take the sponge, wipe it on. let that dry for two minutes. We've got just a light little haze on there as it's set up so I'm going to take the towel and we're going to just simply polish this all off. I've actually replaced this toilet to get rid of that ring. I've tried everything you can think of. I have used Ajax, I've used the pumice. This is, it just does not come out. I mean, you can scrub and scrub and scrub. I've got soft water, yet after three months, it still always comes back. But not if you cover it with a ceramic coating. can see that ring is still there so what I'm gonna do is show you how I'm gonna get rid of this ring for good and fix it by putting on some ceramic coating well the first thing you want to do is shut off your water supply to the toilet and flush it letting all the water completely out now, what I'm gonna use is a Scotch-Brite pad and some Adams heavy correcting compound and we're going to scrub this let's take a little more of this heavy correcting compound and we're going to make sure we get it also all right, Let's turn the water back on. Flush it. And look at that. The ring is completely gone. Okay, next we're gonna dry all this around here. Make sure this is all perfectly dry. Okay, the next thing you want to use is the coating prep. But you want to spray that everywhere in here. Pour the paper to wipe that. will really dry quickly. 
Okay, the next thing you want to do is turn on your vent and we're going to use the Adam spray coating right now and I'm going to coat this in here and take the microfiber sponge and wipe that around. And we let that dry for two minutes. We use uh, Adam's Utility microfiber borderless towel now. And what you want to do is just get in here and buff this now. Smooth. And get that all shined up. Okay, now we have to let that cure for four hours. So make sure you have another bathroom to go to, and then uh, we'll see how that goes. But as you can see, it looks really super clean right now. Okay, we'll come back at about quarter after one and see how it flushes. That's four hours. That gives the time to cure. Okay, four hours later, let's go ahead and turn the water on. Let's flush it, see what it does. Oh, look at how that water runs. <laughs> Unbelievable. Amazing. Flush it. Look at how that water runs. Thomas Crapper, you'd be amazed. Look at the water drops. Again, folks, there are many products out there, and it's all your choice and the way you want to do things. I use Adams Polish for many years, as they really have proven their reliability, and they really work. The well, link is in the description box in case you're interested. And thanks kindly, folks, for watching this old cleaning man clean his stuff. <laughs> and hopefully you picked up some tips.